vinyl on my mind is brought to you by unexplained looking through a window can be like looking into the past the images can't always be explained in this collection of short stories the reader will have an opportunity to discover mystery magic romance and even terror in everyday things this collection includes the award-winning paranormal title in the window as well as the romance title encounter the general fiction title Our Place, and the psychological thriller What She Lost. Unexplained, an ebook available exclusively at Amazon.com. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Vinyl on My Mind. Today I will be talking about Dusty Springfield's Golden Hits. All right, so let's just jump right in. So here is the record here. Uh, this is Dusty Springfield's Golden Hits, and believe it or not, this time around, I did some research, not a whole lot, but some, and this is a Phillips record, which I didn't even realize that Phillips um, made records. I just always thought that they were in some kind of technological field, but I guess music is, you know, technology too, so it's a Phillips record, and this is from... 1966. So in 1966, Dusty Springfield had enough hits to go ahead and release a Golden Hits record. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about why I like her so much. But just to give you kind of a frame of reference, um, people are, you know, awed by the talent of modern singer Adele. And to me, um, not that to take away from anything that she has an amazing voice a wonderful talent she's a good writer she she knows how to entertain and perform um, but I think that a lot of her popularity now is rooted in the popularity of you know such artists as Dusty Springfield let's do some comparisons here we're, we're talking a British singer with a soulful sound hitting the top of the pop charts um, with a voice that you don't expect to come from that person. I mean, when you look at Dusty Springfield, you don't automatically think son of a preacher man. Uh, and I don't even think that's on here. But regardless, you know, she has a very soulful sound and she's a British singer. So that's to me where the parallels are. When Adele hit it big, the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, She's the modern day Dusty Springfield. So I'm going to take this out of its case a little bit. We're going to look at it. Um, it's in pretty good condition considering um, what we paid for it, which was not a lot. And um, it has a little sticker on it that I don't like. And whoever owned it before wrote their name on top of it, which is one of the reasons why we got a deal on it. I mentioned this before. Some people really care about the the you know the sleeve the cover that the record comes in and not that they shouldn't but for me it's more about what's on the inside and um, I'm just gonna list you know some of the songs that are on here you don't have to say you love me that's a big one um, wishing and hoping I think I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that was the intro to the movie um, was it my best friend's wedding mm, maybe not you know it's one of those romantic comedies um, that the stories kind of all are the same but just a little bit different anyway um, so that's a you know really um, popular song that people recognize hearing and um, there's just a lot of good you know songs on this one and like I'll play a little sample for you just like I did last time and I've been working on my sampling skills so hopefully I'll be able to play you some samples without all that scratching this time around I did want to read just some of the stuff that's on the back of here because to me this is where some of the gold is. The way that they used to promote these records, I mean, you can see how times have changed, but in retrospect, not all that much. People are still doing crazy things to try to, you know, grab an audience. So I'm just going to read you some of the things from the back. Um, basically when you just like looking at the back of a book when you see the blurb this is on the back of the record to try to if you weren't already gonna buy Dusty Springfield Golden Seeds I don't know why you wouldn't this was supposed to pull you in 
So it says, um, I'm going to skip around a little bit. It says, a Golden Hits album is not only a special treat for the listener, it marks a significant milestone in a career performer. It symbolizes one, popularity, two, repeated success, and three, talent. And I agree with that. It goes down to say that she, speaking of Dusty, is an original. She isn't like anyone else. Interview her and you will find out important things like she thinks her nose is too long and that her favorite actor is Daffy Duck. For gosh sakes, not Rock Hudson, not uh, not the Roadrunner, but Daffy Duck. Now that's actually on the back of here. I didn't make that up. It says for gosh sakes. And it goes on to say some other things. Um, um, it talks about her voice. Its sound is unique. No yearnings after Ella or Barbara or Alva or any of those other champs. Pure golden dusty. Little girl poignancy mixed with soul. Blue eyes and big beat. Listen and you will get the message. She is a hit maker. And um, it goes to talk about some other other things, but here is the last line of this entertaining blurb: "Thufferin Thuckatash, Daffy Duck, are you ready for this?" That's that's on this. I mean, granted, like I said, this is circa 1966, but I just think that's absolutely hilarious. I don't know any artist, and maybe I just don't read enough information. I mean. We don't really have CDs anymore, so I guess it would be whatever the description is on the you know website you're buying it. But I don't know that someone would put something like that on there. You know, I do have more of these to share. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this show is to read you some of the stuff that they put on these records. So just as before, I will share a song from side A and also a song from side B. And let's see. I will share um, the number two song just just a little bit from side A, and this is probably well, one of the most recognizable songs on this particular album. Let's see. So I'm looking for song number two. Let's see how I do with lining up. I didn't line that up very well, but at least there was no scratching, so let's try again. There we go. tease for side A. So let's see. Oh, dropping stuff around here. All right, let's see what the tease for side B is. See if there's something else you recognize from Miss Springfield. Let's see here. And oh, and it's the very first song on side B that I want to show you. Well, that I want to play for you. Here we go. give you more but no hopefully anyone familiar with that song recognize that intro because that's all you get that was the intro for you don't have to say you love me so there's other great songs on here um, of course Dusty has lots of songs that that aren't on this album because this is supposed to be kind of like a greatest hits but she has several hits so um 
I suggest that you check them out if you can. Of course, in the description or the show more section of this video, I will try to include a link so that you can hear. Um, if I can find the, this exact album, that's what I'll link. Or otherwise, I'll just link the popular songs from the album so that you can try them out. And um, that's pretty much all I have today for Dusty Springfield's Golden Hits. So I hope you liked it, and maybe you'll try to get a copy of your own. All right, so let's see. Um, tell me what you uh, think of the song. Um, if you're familiar with it, does it bring back any memories for you? Uh, you can leave your two cents in the comments below. Uh, next month, I will be featuring the album, The Best of Benny Goodman. Really into swing time. So you can follow me on Twitter and share images or just tell me stories about your vinyl experiences using the hashtag vinyl on my mind and you'll have a chance to be featured in my next episode. Next Saturday I'll be posting an episode of So Yeah Cards. That's a funny show. But don't forget to stop back on Monday to see my Toy Box movie review of Burn After Reading. And don't remember and remember if you're interested in guest hosting or sponsoring a toy box webisode, you can visit etoythomas.com to learn more about that. So until next time, this is Toy Thomas saying that I think authors should be just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya.